dragging glutes. I very calm, yeah, then we maybe and just blast the glutes. Them, What's your workout for glutes? You're like, all right, you need strong just, glutes. Let's go. I just send them over to the booty band girls in the gym and get oh, them to uh, <laughs> yes, just blow it up because <laughs> they've got it figured out. <laughs> they all do. They 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 train butt just, four or five days a week. Two two yeah, thousand reps of lateral band walks and yeah, you can walk on the stepper with your band around your oh legs. gosh. But your legs never open wider than this. No, <laughs> just, don't need to. He's using hip flexor. Just friction. Just friction. friction. <laughs> it's like a magic lamp. Yeah, I mean, if if they said like, like I've said, obviously said if they like, oh my my glutes are lagging, I'm not able to fire. Like I don't feel like I engage from the pit, like from the bottom of the squat up or something like that. Like I can't engage my glutes from the beginning of the deadlift. It's like okay, well let's work on some just basic shit or like de- let's work in some depths of maybe a hack squat where we can like relax into like the bottom of the lift and get you to drive off feet and mm-hmm. come up through your glute so we get that we're kind of mimicking the movement but we're not adding stress to the body we're just yeah. kind of like like you said like a baseball player working on like a certain aspect of its swing mm-hmm. so it's like drop drop them down on a hack and get them to like take a wider take the same stance they take whether a sumo deadlift or whatever Mm-hmm. and just get them to like settle to the bottom because a lot of people don't spend enough time at the bottom of lifts okay and that's why they can't recruit mm-hmm. so they can't they don't understand like on a on like any type of leg movement especially something that's on a track like a hack squat or something like that where it's fixed they're not mm-hmm. controlling a bar it's like i don't understand like i it's like this go down and like touch hot coals come up it's like mm-hmm. tink, off the tink, off the bottom it's like no it's spend time there yeah and then emanate emanate power from your feet and your glutes or whatever it is you're trying to target and squeeze off don't jump off flex off so i'm pressing the pat i'm pressing the platform down i'm not driving myself away from the platform Mm. so i'm keeping weight down in my down in my feet and i'm driving off and flexing up right whether that's the position of your legs where we want to be turned out knees or we want to keep our legs straighter so we get more depth and drop it just depends on what what i would see with them right because i would honestly if someone was having issues with stuff or they came in I would have them, the first thing I would do is have them do the lift that they want help with. So it's like, let me see what you do Mm -hmm. and I'll see what I think is wrong with it. Or I'll notice where you're hitching or you're, you're speeding up the movement too quick or you're not able to relax or you're too tense. I'm like, let's just play with that. Right. Cause that's going to overall impact you more than me being like, okay, well, I've noticed that like your glutes aren't firing. So we're going to go up four inches and then we're going to squeeze down and we're going to go up four inches it's like well let's just see how shitty your movement is or how inflexible you are or mm-hmm. pliable you are and let's fix those spots that are stuck right yeah so 